Welcome back to today's teaching. We'll be taking our text from Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Verse 1 says, God, who has sundry times and in diverse manners spoke unto the fathers by the prophet, as in this last day spoken unto us by his son. So we see a comparative analysis here. In the Old Testament, God spoke unto the fathers by the prophets. And that is why the Old Testament is characterized by the formula, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. The prophets come unto the people saying, Thus saith the Lord. But in the New Testament, Jesus came saying unto us, you know, his formula was quite different. He said, for instance, in John chapter 3, verse 3, unto Nicodemus, Verily, verily, I say unto you. In other words, from the very moment that Jesus began to speak unto us directly, saying, Verily, verily, I say unto you, we're already in the last days. So if you ask me technically, that when did the last day start? The last day started when Jesus began his ministry at Galilee. Because at that point, he began to teach the people. God began to speak to the people directly, not to the prophets anymore. And that is why Jesus was saying, Verily, verily, I say unto you. So the last days, technically, it's not a day. It's a process. You know, it consists of several days, several years, and several months. We don't know what the terminal point would be. But the beginning of the last days was the point when God began to speak unto us directly through his son by the formula Verily, verily, I say unto you. God is no longer speaking unto us by the prophets in terms of God said the Lord. No, in these last days, he's speaking unto us directly by his son through the formula. Verily, verily, I say unto you. So God is speaking to you by his son. God bless you.